Hey Puzzlers, this is Steve here with another video on how to play some logic puzzles. This one's on a Sudoku variant called a crop key. How it works, just like in regular Sudoku, each row, column, and 3x3 three three box must contain the digits 1 through 9 without repeating. There are some added clues, however, where if you see a white dot between two cells, those must be consecutive digits. And if you see a black dot between two cells, those must be multiples of one another, or halves. If you do not see a white dot or a black dot between two cells, then those digits must not be consecutive and they must not be multiples as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is try to solve this puzzle for you guys, share some common tips and tricks. Hopefully it'll make it for, uh, easier for you to solve them yourselves in the future. And if you want to give it a try on your own first, go ahead and click the link in the description below. So first and foremost, what I look for is uh, black dots. Those are going to be a little bit easier than the white dots because they're going to be more constrained. You can't have any five, sevens, or nines in black dots. And I'm going to look for chains. So what I mean by chains is if we see here, for instance, there's three black dots in a row. We know that this is going to have to be one, two, four, eight, because it can't be three, six, and, and other digits. There's just not enough. So here we can actually write this in as one, two, four, eight, like that. Or we can go backwards, one, two, four, eight. Um, and then because this is next to a white dot, we can actually see this cannot be a 1. And the reason for that is if this is a 1, that would have to be a 2, that would have to be a 2, and that would have to be a 2, right? Because 2 is a multiple of 1. And, uh, you know, you'd have two 2's in the same row or two 2's in the same box. So this cannot be 1. Therefore, that has to be 8, and it goes down like that. And then we know this is going to be then 7 or 9. Oops. Pencil marks. Again, pencil marks. There we go. 7 or 9. And we see the same pattern here, uh, a sequence of four digits that all have to be halves of one another. So we can do the same thing, 1, 2, 4, 8, or the other way around, 1, 2, 4, 8. And then we run into the same problem with this uh, white dot. We can't have a 1 here because then we'd have two twos next to it. So then this is going to be the exact same pattern, eight, four, two, one. Um, and then here with this black dot, since we already have uh, one, two, four, eight all taken, this can't be a five, seven, or nine, so this has to be then a three or six, making this a three or six, and then this a three or six. And this brings me to my next uh, tip, which is to always remember the negative constraint. So here, because there's no white dot between the four and this cell, this cannot be three. Otherwise, these would be consecutive digits and there's no white dot, so this has to then be a six, which then makes those three. Let's pencil mark seven or nine there. Oops, pencil mark seven or nine. Um, And this here has got to be a 3 or 5. There's already a 3 above it, so that's got to be 5. And here's a sequence of black dots. So we have three black dots in this row, uh, which is really helpful. So these two it can't be 4, 8. So these have to be um, 1, 2, or 3, 6. making this a seven, nine pair. All right, so that's seven or nine. This is now a sequence. So if this were a nine, this would come down eight, seven like that. If this was a seven, it could come up to eight, nine, uh, but it can't go down. For, so if this was a seven, this could not be a six and five. So this is forced to be an eight. Uh, you always have the middle digit in the middle. You can't have an end digit in the middle of a sequence, so that's helpful. So we have a seven, nine pair, making this then a five, six, so five, six, like that. And the negative constraint applies here. You can't have a five next to a four unless there's a white dot. So that's six, five, um, and then here these two, or the, we're missing in that box a one, seven, nine. This can't be a one because it's next to a two, so that makes that a one. And then therefore we have a seven, nine pair there and a seven, nine pair there. 
So we're missing three digits here. So we're missing two, three, four, right? One, yeah, two, three, four, because we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. So again, the negative constraint applies here. We can't have this be a two. Um, so this is either a three, four, but this cannot be a six. So if this is a three, this would have to be a six. So this cannot be a three. So that's gotta be four, making that two. And that's gotta be the three. Now this is a nice little sequence. So if we look at these four digits, we're missing six, seven, eight, nine. Oops, pencil marks, six, seven, eight, nine. And if this were a nine, it would go down nine, eight, seven. And that's not possible because it would then nothing could fit here. So this cannot be a nine in the opposite way. This can't be a nine, right? Because then it'd be nine, eight, seven, and we run into the same problem. So this is going to be a six, seven, eight. The nine, you know, an n number cannot be in the middle. So this is a six, seven, eight triple, making this the nine, that the seven, that the nine, that the seven. So we're missing two digits here. One, two, three, four. We're missing five, nine. Five, nine. Um, So this seven makes this now a nine. Um, here we have a sequence. So whenever we have two black dots in the same row or column, that's really helpful. Can't be one, none, none of these can be one, two, because we have the two here. And none of it can be two, four. So it's gotta be four, eight, three, six. Four, eight, three, six. So that's a, uh, a quadruple. We're missing two more cells. We need a one and a nine. So that's a one nine. That's a one nine. Can't have a nine on a black dot. So this then has to be one. That's two. This is the three then. This can no longer be three six. So that's gotta be a four eight, making this the three six. This is a nine now, making that a seven. This here cannot be one, two, or three, six. So two, four, whoa, 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 whoa. Pencil marks, please. Two, four, eight. This can't be an eight because of the nine. This here's gotta be one, two, four, eight. Um, here's another sequence of black dots uh, in, in a row. So that's gonna create a quadruple for us. So what's nice is we can pair these strategies with regular Sudoku strategies, right? Looking for pairs, X-wings, um, all that fun stuff, you know, naked singles. So we have a one, two, so we need this to be then uh, three, six, or four, eight. That creates a quadruple, leaving these last two digits um, having to be seven and five. This can't be a seven because the eight above it, that, that's that negative constraint. So that's the five, that's the seven. This cannot be um, an eight because the nine above it. Well, also because there's an eight in the box. So we can take the eight there away. This can no longer be a four then. Let's, okay, so this seven uh, has to be then a six, eight there. And then five, seven, nine, right? So a sequence of white dots that bend sometimes is not as helpful as a sequence of white dots that are in a straight line like we had over here. So here, uh, what are we missing? One, okay, two, four. So we need a five, six, seven, and eight. Five, six, seven, eight. I don't think that's quite helpful yet. I'll come back to that. Here's a sequence. So this can no, uh, no longer be a three because it's next to a five with a white dot. 
So this could no longer be a 6, right? It's either got to be 4, 8, or 4, 2. There's no 2. So this then's got to be, can no longer be a 1. Can no longer be a 3. It can no longer be a 6. So this has to be, because they're consecutive digits, so this has to be 2. 2, 3, 6, making this a uh, 4, 8, I believe, right? 4, 8. This then has to be a 1, making this a 3, 6 pair. So we have a triple up here. There's 1, these are pairs, these are pairs. So we're missing a 9 a five and a two, two, five, nine. Two can't be here because of the one. Uh, so then this is gonna be a triple. What are these two? So this can no longer be a two. Uh, can no longer be an eight. There's already an eight in that box. So a one, four, Seven. So these must be one, four, seven. This can't be the seven because of the eight. So that's now a one, four pair, making that the seven. This must be six or eight. This then five, seven, or nine. Uh, not sure if that's helpful quite yet. Now this one, four means this is going to be a two or eight, right? One times two or four times two making this then, it has to be a, a four, right? If this is a two, it can't be a one. If that's an eight, that forces this to be a four. So either way, this is a four. So we know that that's a four, making that a one, that's a four. This we still can't disambiguate. Oh no, we can't. So this, these two here, this can't be a six because then these would not be consecutive. So that's a three, that's a six, making that an eight and that a two. Now this can no longer be a five. Oops, pencil mark, no longer a, f I'm sorry. Center, pencil mark, I'm still getting used to this software. Okay, so seven or nine, there's already a nine. I missed that earlier, so that's a seven. This can no longer be an eight because the negative rule applies, so that's gotta be four. 8 here this is a pair 1 2 3 4 we're missing 5 6 so 5 6 this can't be a 6 because it's next to a 7 and there's no white dot so that has to be 5 that's 6 this can no longer be a 5 that can no longer be a 5 because of the 6 so that's a 2 9 pair making that the 5 we're missing one digit here which is I believe a 9 Here's a pair, we're missing a one and a five, oops, pencil marks, one, five. This six means this, this cannot be a five, so that's gonna be one, five. Here we have triples, so let's go ahead and put all the triples in here. So we're missing two, three, six, two, three, oh geez, come on. Two, three, six. This must be the three, six then because two doesn't work there. So meaning that's the two. This has got to be a one or four. There's already a four, so that's a one. So the last two digits here, one, two, three, four, five. We're missing a seven and eight. And that works because those are consecutive digits. Here we're missing four, five, nine, right? Four, five, nine. Can we, so these must be multiples or halves of one another, meaning this cannot be a seven. So that's gotta be eight, meaning that's a four. Here we could take the four away from the pencil mark. This now means that's a seven. That can't be a six, because that'd be a consecutive with the uh, seven, so that's three, six. That means this is a nine, because it can't be consecutive with the six, there's no white dot. Uh, this can no longer be, so So this is the center number on this sequence. So this has to be the seven, right? We can't have the extremes in the middle. Uh, and this 
five means this can't be the six, so that's got to be the eight, six. This has to be a five because that's consecutive with the four. So five, nine. This is either three or five. Oops. Three or five. It's on a black dot, meaning it can't be a five. So that's got to be three, six. This is five or seven. We already have a five here in that row. So that's a seven. We're missing now a four in that row, right? One, two, three, yep, four. So this is three or five. We already have the three, so that's a five. This can't be the six because it's next to a five without a white dot, so that's eight. Oops, pencil mark. That can't be a five now. It's got to be consecutive here. There's already a seven, so that means that is a nine. This is a two or four. We already have a four, so that's a two, and this is the one. And now, this here means with no white dot, this can't be a six, so that's gotta be three, six. This here, that negative constraint, again, comes in handy. This can't be a two because the three below it, there's no white dot, so that's a nine, that's a two. Um, here, again, that negative constraint, three with no white dot means this can't be a four, so that's eight, four. And that's it, we've solved it. Let's just make sure that's all right, and it is. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this puzzle. I do like them a lot. Um, I've been doing a lot of Sudoku puzzles uh, over the last decade, and I just kind of got bored of them. And since being quarantined, I've picked up a lot of these variants, and it's kind of brought new life to um, an old hobby of mine. So I really enjoy it. Let me know if you've done it yourself uh, at the link below. Let me know what your time was. I'm no speed demon, so... Uh, I'm sure plenty of you probably did it faster than me, but hopefully this helped you and uh, you can subscribe for more videos like this in the future and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Have a good night, everybody.